Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a vlog on a trip that I got back from a while ago. I, this vlog's a long overdue. It was on my Detroit trip that I went on with the Checkered Flag 200, which is a car club from the Peterson Automotive Museum up in LA. So this trip was happening in the same weekend as the St. John's Motor Concourse in Michigan as well. So we were able to go to that, but we also had a lot of other fun things in store that we did. And one of them was having dinner the first night we got there at the Henry Ford Museum. Now, if you don't know the Henry Ford Museum, you're missing out. They've got some of the greatest cars in the world. Bugatti Royale, GT40 that won Le Mans, the last GT that just won Le Mans in 2016, but also a lot of other amazing things, such as the bus that Rosa Park was on, trains, planes, technology pieces, a lot of cool stuff. So that was the first night, that was fun. Next morning, we go to several great museums and collections. The Lingenfelter Collection, uh, another private collection, which I'm showing you right now, beautiful, and then another private collection. So three collections, a restoration shop, that was all on the second day. That was Friday, I believe. I forgot to mention that we also went to the M1 Concourse, which was a killer racetrack slash garage setup deal. They had garages that you could buy and set up your cars at, and then you could drive them right on the track, which was literally right in front of your garage. And while we were there, they were racing the GT350R, the Chevrolet Camaro ZL110E, and then the new Dodge Hellcat Challenger. So that was pretty neat as well. Saturday, we went up to the Roush plant where they actually produce. Now, I didn't realize this, but I thought Roush was just like a Shelby, a Carroll Shelby or a Saline, that type of a thing, where they just did performance. That was, that was it. I was wrong. They have over 5,000 employees. They do working engineering working for all three of the big three companies in Michigan. Obviously, if you don't know that, it's Chrysler, GM, and Ford. But they also do parts for them. They do military contracts. So it's not just a little company that you think of with the racing cars, the performance cars. But anyway, the performance line where we were, that was really cool to see, working on uh, F-150s, the Mustangs. And then after that, we went to the actual collection, the museum. It's kind of a little dirty, but if you looked at the cars, it had some amazing cars. It had the brand new Ford GT in there. It had the car that started it all. The best special. Yeah. And after that, we went up to RM Auctions and saw their whole setup. That was very, very cool to see. They'll probably be winning Pebble Beach in the next year or so. Just keep that in mind. And then Sunday was obviously the concourse. And if you haven't been to that concourse, I had been to the grounds where it was at before the Metal Brook, but I'd never been to the actual concourse. And this was obviously the first time I was at the grounds for St. John's. By far one of the coolest concourses in the country, and I would say probably in the world. I think it's the top three. Obviously, Pebble Beach is number one in the world and number one in the U.S. Amelia Island is a strong second for the U.S., but I think the St. John's Concourse is definitely the number three spot. And it was great. They had a section for winning for American and then an exotic. So the American car was this beautiful Stutz, gorgeous. And then the European, the exotic car class that won Best of Show. So the car that won Best of Show in 2016 at Pebble Beach also won Best of Show here for uh, the exotic car class. It was an Isada Fashini, amazing, dropped a gorgeous car. But if you guys haven't, if you were going to Michigan or Detroit area, there's a ton of car stuff to do. It's not just, there's a whole lot more I should say than what you'd think. And it's one of my favorite places I try to get to Michigan once a year. And I highly recommend it. If you're ever in the area, look up the Henry Ford Museum. There's lots of other little museums I can tell you about. Henry Ford Museum, there's the Chrysler Museum, there's the, a Buick Museum up in Pontiac, Buick slash Pontiac Museum, I should say. It's a Model T Museum. There's the Hall of Fame for automotive figures. Um, just tons of stuff. You could go to the Roush factory. You go to other factories, I'm sure GM and Chrysler have factory tours you could do. But I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. And it was a great trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my third vlog and I'll keep them coming. Next up is Pebble Beach, so I'll do a vlog when I get back from that. Till then, see you guys.